Oh, well, fellow Shadow Knights, this is your friendly neighborhood Casey Shadow. Just kidding. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> What's up, fellow Shadow Knights? It's your friendly neighborhood Casey Shadow. And this is a Coel video. I thought you were going to say, this is Sparta. Nope. Nope. <laughs> There's nothing to kick. <coughs> So what are we doing? Okay, so, so everyone knows. So this is basically kind of like twenty questions, but it's gonna be a hundred questions. If we can get to them, we might not get to them all. Okay, we're, we're not trying. gonna do all a hundred, are we? We can skip certain ones and be like, well, I don't like this question. All right, yeah. Okay. Well, I have a list of like a hundred questions. We might skip some. We'll we'll see how it goes. So prepare your sphincters. <laughs> So, okay, the first question is, what's something you always wanted to do as a child but never got to do? Can we skip that question? Yeah. That, 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 that's a very heartfelt question. I will start uh, crying. Okay. So. We'll skip yeah. that one. Okay, okay. Right. So that is not question number one. Focus. Focus. Pretend that question never happened. Like, use this folk, like... There we go. That yeah. not focusing must have been like, fuck your question. Yeah. Don't want Casey to cry. Yes, we don't want that. Um, if you were in a witness protection program, what would be your new name and where would you go? What is a witness protect? Is that like when you're protected by the government? Yeah. My new name. I'll go with Oak and Lycos. I like that. Oak and okay. Lycos, all right. Okay. And where would I go? Transylvania, Dracula's Castle. I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to cut my hair, do I? Or grow a beard? I, I refuse to grow out a beard. You, If you go out in public, you'd probably just have to wear a wig. I'll wear a mask. All right. I, I'm not listening to everything I'm told for government <laughs> with that. End up, like, getting, like, <coughs> I'll get caught by the bad guys easily. I'll be the vigilante, though, the whole time. Da, 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 like, you know, like, you were in witness protection. Like, you made it really easy for us to find you, and then you're just like, fuck the system. <laughs> I am a superhero now. <laughs> All right, next question. What is the strangest thing you've ever eaten? A cardboard grilled cheese sandwich when I lived in the woods. The bread was made of cardboard. And then there was a, two pieces of cheese. That's probably the weirdest thing because they put me in the hospital. I remember, <laughs> I remember you telling me about that. Yeah. Don't eat cardboard. It is not made for your tummy. You will get ill. Stay in school, kids. Don't do car cardboard. Don't do cardboard. <laughs> All right, uh, what famous artist, dead or alive, would you want to paint your portrait? Leonardo da Vinci, there's no questions asked, right next to Jeff Hardy, Jeffrey Nero Hardy. There we go. That would be, like, a really cool, They have to like... both do it. Wait, am I painting them, or are they painting me? They're painting you. Okay, yeah, both of them, like... Jeffrey Nero Hardy has to paint the background. Leonardo da Vinci paints me. That way, I get both uniqueness. That would be That would be sick. fucking phenomenally enigmatic. And I love it. Just the sound of it. Now I wish I could have that happen. That would be really fucking awesome. No. What's the next question? Alright, um... What's the dumbest thing you've ever cried about? An almond falling on the ground. I dropped an almond and I cried, okay? Why? I was drunk. <laughs> and dropped an almond and cried. It all went downhill from there? <laughs> Oh, that poor almond could have been tummy yummy. Tummy yummy. Oh. It became not tummy yummy. You're such a precious soul. 
Of course, almond. <laughs> I am. <laughs> and so are you. <laughs> hmm. Um, if you could rid the world of one disease, what would it be? Cancer. V valid answer. If you could get away with a crime, would you? If yes, what would it be? Okay, I have to be honest. Okay, get story prepared. Time. It's start. It's detail time. <laughs> Robbing a bank like Fast and Furious. I would need Brandon and my friend Tim involved. No matter what, they have to be involved. Whether they want to or not, they're driving some badass cars. Focus. Focus. Thank you. So, yeah. I get to drive a Roadrunner, though. Plymouth Roadrunner is my car. Tim and Brandon can have whatever car they want, but it has to be American Muscle for this to be badass. Not saying I'm actually going to rob a bank. I'm just saying it would look really fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> you get caught. Like, do you, like, do you not have any less warrants before you, like, go to jail and, and you're just like, oh, I just thought it would be cool. I just thought it would be cool. Fuck. <laughs> well, I don't did it now. <laughs> <laughs> um... What's the worst thing you ever did as a child, and what was your punishment? Told my mom I hated her. Um. Had a massive lecture, pulled weeds, um, more yard work, was grounded for more than two months, and I went to school, came home, did my homework, ate dinner, went to bed, was my punishment with that grounding. No friends, no fun, no f snacks, no playing. It was, yeah. And I even grounded myself an extra two months because I knew I fucked up. And we were in a stupid argument, too. It was really stupid. I don't remember the full-out argument, but I know it was over something stupid, and it was my fault because I said things I should never have done. I only did it once, and that was the only time. And I always told... Hey, the kids basically never to say such words and I teach them and understand because you never know when someone's gonna die and you don't want that to be the last word you ever said yeah ponytail <laughs> what are two things you would do if you woke up to find yourself completely invisible touch myself See if I can see my ejaculation, because honestly, I need to know, is it visible or invisible? Is my sperm invisible too? Secondly, become a motherfucking vigilante. I'd be a superhero. Oh, hell yeah. Who started out realizing his power by masturbation in the morning. <laughs> I love it. It's like the best backstory ever. <laughs> uh, describe the worst haircut you've ever had. Some old dude fucked up my hair when I was 21. Oh. He had a barber shop. Focus, this is important story time. He had a barber shop. He had proof he was, like, in the hair business for years and everything, but didn't explain his hands gave out and shit, and he fucked up and cut my hair too short. I had to go pay an extra 20 bucks just to have my hair fixed up by professionals who charge a fuckload of money. Don't go to a fucking barbershop. Go to a hair salon. And the only reason I went to a barbershop is because I was told by someone to give him a chance. And I tried to be nice, and I refused to do it again. Lesson learned. Now you know. The more you know. Yeah. 
I mean, most barber shops are just like will just give you basic haircuts anyway. Well, I showed him a picture and it looked nothing like the picture. It was way, way off. Like you told me a one to ten, if it was anywhere close, it's a zero. Ah. Oh. That bad. I had to shave my head. I didn't make videos, I think, for a few months Aww. without a hat. And for a little while, I was hidden from YouTube. Like, I didn't make any videos for, I think, a few weeks. And I put a beanie on and everything. Mm, I remember. Andy. Your poor hair. Your poor, beautiful hair. I know. I was lucky. The only way I was going to be growing up back in a good way like where it wouldn't fuck up it's like shape and everything is if i had my head shaved so i had to Aww. i'm guessing you don't have any pictures with it that was the longest day and time of not selfie and i'm a selfie slut i'm not gonna lie i'm you're a the, slut for selfies you're the biggest selfie hoe i know <laughs> <coughs> Imaginary selfie. Um, Token. Right, next question. Have you ever pooped your pants, not including when you were a baby? Yes, I did. I was 17 and I shit myself. I thought it was a fart. <laughs> and I was under the age drinking, too. No lie. I underage drink. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have. Don't say you haven't because I'll call you a fucking liar. Until you can prove it, me wrong. Anyhow, I thought I had to push out a fart. I was being dumb and stupid with friends, too. Thought, let's light my fart on fire. And I <laughs> shit myself, and the flame made a smell worse. Holy shit, was that the worst fucking thing to do. I sharted? No. I had diarrhea in my fucking <laughs> pants. And I had to take off my trips and wash them straight away. I had to wear fucking basketball shorts for hours. I felt miserable because it's not my style. Unless I'm swimming. <laughs> yes, I do not wear swimming trunks. Next question. Alright. Um... Honesty is the best policy. Mmm. If you could have one superpower, what would it be and why? And I'm pretty sure I already know this. <sighs> Teleportation. Because I fucking love Nightcrawler. If you said two, it'd be shapeshift into animals like Beast Boy and teleportation. I thought, were, I thought your first pick would be the Beast Boy one. No, I'm already animal at heart by, oh, right now. Teleportation just makes it extra cool and fun and funny. And my favorite superpower, honestly, is teleportation. I love teleporting with superheroes. Like, I fucking love Nightcrawler. One of my favorite X-Men. Next question. <laughs> this is fun. Uh, <clears throat> oh, look at me. There's a lot of, like, just really generic ones that are boring. Let me find the interesting ones. Bring it on! Uh, if you could trade lives with anyone for a day, who would it be and why? Lives? Like, trade lives. Like, like... Freaky Bugs Friday. Bunny. Like freaky, freaky Friday type shit. Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny. Yes. I don't care. Bugs Bunny is life and is alive, okay? I'd switch for a day with Bugs Bunny. Enough questions asked. All right. No, <laughs> no explanation needed. <laughs> uh, this is a weird one. Which Disney princess do you find the most attractive? <coughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. That's a hard one. It's between Pocahontas and the chick from Brave that I don't know the name of. I think her name is Meredith or Meredith. Meredith, yeah. Meredith and Pocahontas. If I had to choose between them, it's a Pocahontas because I grew up loving Pocahontas. Plus, I'm Native American, Native Pride. So, Pocahontas is number one. And she is a fucking princess. Look it up. If you don't believe me, look it up. <laughs> Disney princess. She has been proven she's a Disney princess. Of course she is. Yeah. She's a queen. Uh, what scene from a non-horror movie scared you as a child? 
like a not... It has to be a movie, though, not a cartoon show. It, I get... A movie? I, I have to think this through. A movie. It could be a cartoon. It could be, like, anything that wasn't a horror movie. Not a horror movie. And it scared me? Yeah. Does it matter the age? It doesn't like... matter. Okay. Huh. Thinking... Does thriller count? Thriller as in, like, the music video? Like, no, a Michael thriller Jackson. movie. Because oh. they're not technically I thought horror. you meant, like, Michael Jackson thriller. <laughs> I can't really think of a movie on the top of my it head. Could be a show or, like, whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a show. Courage right. a Cowardly Dog. I used to get scared by the episode where the dude would be, like, return the slav or suffer my oh. curse. I love that episode, though. But that dude always scared me. I don't. I don't think he scares me now. I think he's fucking cool. But when I was younger, that fucking scared the shit out of me. I had nightmares. I I I got scared of that too, and I'm pretty sure I had a nightmare or two from it. Oh yeah. Um, if you were about to be executed, what five foods would you have as your last meal? An apple. Let me count right. Apple. Apple. <laughs> Cherry. An Is apple it... and a cherry. Just a um, singular cherry. <laughs> okay, a couple cherries. Like <laughs> ten. Ten cherries. Alright. Onigiri. That's more of a comfortable. Onigiri, which is basically a rice ball. I would want it to have seafood, not any other meat. But seafood with some veggies. Of course. Veggie lasagna. Lasagna. Like a small helmet, not a big portion. I, I'd feel fat when I die, and I don't want to feel too bloated and disgusting. I can go out and go out <clears> feeling <throat> good. <laughs> Does the fifth one have to be a food? Or can I put a drink in there? You could put a drink in there. Coffee with almond creamer. No sugar. I'm surprised you didn't pick tea. I don't want tea to be... In a name, like put in vain of any kind, and me oh, dying right. having tea as my last beverage, I would cry. I'd rather know I was alive when I had a cup of tea. I'd make sure I had a cup of tea two days before that. All right, all like, right. Like I probably know I'm gonna get murdered. I hope if I'm being executed, it's beheading me. Go down in style. Go down in style. It's probably for like a good cause too, and I just got caught by bad guys. I already know the answer to this one, but which would be harder for you to give up, coffee or alcohol? Coffee. Yeah, I already knew that. (laughs) (laughs) (coughs) On a scale of 1 to 10, what's the highest level of pain you've ever been in? Can I go above 10? Because I've been above 10. You can go above 10? In my opinion, I've been at a scale of like, my scale is 1 to 30. I've been at 30. Oh, shit. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I used to backyard wrestle. I know. And a dumb fuck didn't want to be nice enough. And we, we we were hurting each other for real, but we did choreograph it like... When we videotaped it and we wanted someone to win to make it interesting, we were trying to make it big. Never happened. Um, the dude was supposed to stay on the table. <clears throat> and um, the one kid's dad, like, ran the batting cages and the tennis cages. So, like, he just we just removed it and kept the cage. And it was in a cage. We... The one cage, we didn't have a full thing so I could jump off the top and I fucking swanton bomb, which I called the Raven's Peak. The dude decided to be a dick. He was supposed to go through the table. I was the only one going through the table and then my neck went at the end of the cage and on the concrete because they used the concrete. Um, And my arm bent back behind me. And then he attacked me and jumped on me while I was already in pain, increasing the amount of pain, and hit me with a fucking baseball bat. What? And the bat wasn't supposed to be there, and we all, like, 
couple of my friends at the time had to get involved and they start wailing on the dude. The dude just didn't want to lose because he thought we were going to be big and the day we were big, he wanted to know that he was the honcho. That's <sighs> fucked up. Yeah. Are you alright? <laughs> I don't know. Let me find out. Yeah, I'm alright. <laughs> I'm okay. You. I'm alright. I just have pain for the rest of my life every so often. That's probably part of my body pain for the rest of my life. Probably part of why I'm permanently disabled with probably. physical problems. Only partial. Okay. There is medical things involved. I know it. What's next? A little, a little. It, you're in prison with a life sentence. What was your crime? Started a revolution and failed. Because not a lot of people were behind me on it. Because they were yeah. too pussy about it. I can, <laughs> see, I can see that being why. Oh yeah, I'd totally do it if I could. But you need a whole lot and too much effort. And nobody's ever going to be at your side by 100%. Focus. Thank you. Uh, what would you do if you were the lone survivor of a plane crash? Like, the only survivor of a plane crash? Probably curl up and my PTSD would freak, like, go into place, and I'd have an anxiety attack, a panic attack for a little while, and then I'd try to see if I was near the woods, and if I was, I'd try to become alpha of the pack, and then have a whole family of wolves, or I'd just be their child, and... I'd have Alpha, a mom, and Alpha dad be like, hey, you need to eat. Time to eat. Mm. They'd get me fish. Yeah. <laughs> Flex pescatarian, chicken and fish. <laughs> Nothing more meat-wise. <coughs> hmm. Do you believe in Bigfoot? <laughs> Fuck yeah, I do. And I believe in the Yeti, too. There's a fuckload of shit I believe in. All right, I don't know how long this is going. I think we're, like, going on a half hour now, so, like, let's do, like, five more questions. Does that sound good? All right. All right. So. And then I'll have to do a video for you. Yeah. <laughs> that means you's getting two. Two Coel videos yeah. tonight. doo dee doo dee doo <laughs> uh, Let me find a good one. Uh, if it were possible, would you live on the moon? No. No. You wouldn't be like Luther? No. You wouldn't be like number one? No, if I was anyone <laughs> from the Umbrella Academy, I'd have to be Klaus or, um, yeah, was Kla it Ben? Kla Klaus The minus. tentacle guy? Yeah, the tentacle guy. <clears throat> I fucking love like Klaus. The <laughs> Besides the drug use, but I love Klaus. Klaus is amazing. Klaus is my favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's now waifu material, right? He is waifu He's material. He's waifu material. We're gonna animate him. Uh, who would you hate to see naked? Hillary Clinton. That's easy. <laughs> she has a she has a snook up her snatch. Have you ever yeah. seen South Park? <laughs> South Park has declared it. I believe it. You got a snook in your <clears throat> I'd hate that. I, I would not want to look at that. I'm not taking it back either. Freedom of speech. I know my declaration of independence too. <laughs> um, if you could go back in time up to a thousand years, what year would you visit? Thousand years? It could be up to a thousand years. Like, I could go back in time? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't do it. You wouldn't? No, because knowing me, I'd change something by accident, and I don't want to change... Everything's meant to happen for a reason. Yeah. Although, it would be kind of cool to shake JFK's hand. Yeah, that, that wouldn't really okay, change anything. Okay, okay. For all we know, it could. Me shaking his hand probably would have made him a superhero, for all we know, like... Before he goes in the car and everything happens, he probably becomes bulletproof and shoots laser beams. That would have been fucking awesome. He turns out to be would have Superman. Like saved the whole world. Da 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if if that was the case and I shook his hand and he became Superman, then yes, 
because I wish he would have lived for a very long time. He deserved life. He did. Next question. <laughs> oh, I had one and I lost it. Oh, yeah. What's the weirdest dream you've ever had? <laughs> Which one? Anyone. You I dream mean. about four to five different dreams every time I sleep. And you remember your dreams. <clears throat> this is amazing. There's always something dinosaur related, so prepare for dinosaur time. Because I had a dream once where I was riding a battle cat from He-Man, and all I had to do was snap my fingers, and I could change him from a battle cat to anything I wanted. So I chose a fucking dinosaur. He turned to a pachycephalosaurus, and then the enemy, oddly enough, was like government people and bad guys and... Apparently the leader of the government was Red Skull from Marvel, so I mean, like, I guess I was in a Marvel dr movie dream. I don't know. But anyway, I snapped my fingers again, transformed him into a fucking Spinosaurus, then I transformed him again, and I was just snapping my fingers over and over again, just changing the dinosaur. And every time I'd be like, alright, dinosaur. Alright, a different dinosaur. Alright, now it's a plant-eating dinosaur. Oh, now it's a carnivore. And apparently the dinosaur would fart when I farted. And that was a very big key point so in the it dream. Would be like a you an in unison fart. Literally it was oddly enough a weirdly big point in the dream. Farting was mostly through the whole fucking dream too. Which really made it hard to be serious if it, it was a movie. The dinosaur farted cuz I farted. If I tooted, it tooted. If I tooted, tooted, it tooted, tooted. If I sharted, it was shark. <laughs> and yes, that happened in the dream. Oh, that's awesome. And when I snapped my fingers and it would be like a brontosaurus or a velociraptor, for some reason, I always said its name was now Larry. Larry as a velociraptor sharts. Living like Larry. Living like Larry the velociraptor. <laughs> I prefer blue. <clears throat> Delta. More Delta. Mm. What's next? Uh, I had to find a good one because all these, I, like, this is the last question. So I got to find one that, like, goes off with a bang. <laughs> uh. Bang. This may, oh no, is it not focusing again? Bang. Bang. Focus. That's what I thought. No. Bang. It's focusing again because I shot it. Let me use the All right. Are you ready for no. the very last question? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are your ready? sphincters not tight enough? Are they loose enough for this question? Yep. Like, they better be, like, so loose they could just, like... Are your ear holes loose enough for this question? <laughs> Are your, is your sphincter <laughs> loose enough for this one? Bring it on. Let the shit leak out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. If you could live forever, like forever, forever, would you? No. Because part of life is death. Yeah. I accept both life and death. And I embraced both already long ago. I've died enough times too, so I already know what happens. No, I will not tell you what's on the other side. You must find out on your own. That is part of the natural order of things. Unless I decide to tell you. But I don't want to. But that is the end of this video, at least for my questions. I hope you've enjoyed Momentai Koal Power! Pan Power! Pan Power! Oh, my nipple. Ooh. <laughs> Fist bomb a llama Momentai and have a wonderful freaking day! Momentai! Enjoy your llama titty day!